Hi, Bookish Besties. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Reads. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you are already subscribed, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you for returning to another video. Today, we are going to build a TBR cart and do some bookshelf reorganization. <music> So if you've been with my channel for the past couple of months, you will know that back in December, we got some unsettling news from my job that there was going to be some big restructuring happening. The point of the message was that we don't know who's going to be keeping their jobs at any given point. Long story short, I have recently been told how the restructuring is going to affect me. Thankfully, not a whole lot, but I will be moving offices. In my office at work, I have a whole full bookcase full of my Harry Potter books, different editions and memorabilia. And the office that I'm moving to is smaller than the one that I'm currently in, which is fine because I never needed all the space in my office. But the office doesn't have a bookcase so I wanted to go ahead and take all of my Harry Potter stuff home but the problem is is that my bookshelves are basically full to bursting for the most part and I needed to figure out a way to be creative on how to fit the Harry Potter stuff back on these shelves. So for the most part I'm going to be doing this video kind of vlog style where you're going to see me do some of the reorganization and putting the TBR cart and I'm going to do an overview of what my office slash library looks like at this time so you're going to get an idea of what I'm talking about but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my physical TBR which is housed on this shelf right here it is a half billy bookcase and I think the TBR cart is going to be able to house most if not all of these books so I'm going to take these off and I'm going to put them on the TBR cart and that's just where they're going to be housed also right behind you I have one of those two by two cube shelves from Ikea as well and currently it's housing a lot of empty shipping boxes that I use for when I sell books on Pango I think I'm going to take my paperbacks which are actually on this shelf right here another half billy bookcase I don't have a lot of paperbacks because I prefer hardbacks I think I'm going to take those also off my shelves and then I will move all of the shipping boxes out to my garage because they theoretically really don't need to be in here. It's just really easy to come in here, grab the book that I'm going to sell, grab the box that I'm going to put it in and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of these boxes out to the garage and that will essentially free up two of my half Billy bookcases. So that's the plan for today. I'm really hoping to be able to get it all finished. I don't know if I will be successful, but I will take you along when I can on this journey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So here's what I see when I walk through the door. These are my current bookshelves and and as you can see, they are mostly full. This is where I typically sit to film. So this is a large part of what is being changed. You can see that I have this four square cubby right here. This is my tripod where my camera goes. And typically what I have here are boxes that I use for shipping Tango books. And I plan on moving all of this out to the garage. And that's where I have a lot of like the bubble wrap and stuff that I use. And I feel like I can set up a little shipping station out there that I can go grab from when I'm shipping books. And I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do here is put my paperbacks on here. So all of my paperbacks are currently on this half Billy bookcase. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is move these over to the four square and then have either my Harry Potter books here or make this shelf the Harry Potter shelf and then split my fantasy between this which is my TBR case and this. Now in terms of my TBR case this is what is going on the TBR cart. I think I have just enough TBR books to fit on a TBR cart and then when I get the TBR cart it's probably going to be stationed right around here. So these are the main things that are of focus. But if I turn you around, you can see that I'm completely out of room over here with regard to my Funko Pops. I've had to start lining them up on the ground and there's just really nothing that I can do about that at this time because I have no space. You can see the boxes here. Those also need to be moved out. And so my goal is to clear up the floor area, switch the functionality of this space, and then change up what I'm doing with half cases here.
here is what we've got for the TBR cart. It is full front and back and I basically had just enough room. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. This shelf is now done. And then next, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move towards this shelf right here. This is where all of my paperbacks are. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and take them all off and work on cleaning up the room just a little bit. <music> So I went ahead and put all my paperback books on this two by two. This is very tentative. It's really not organized at all. It's not even in alphabetical order for the most part, but I just really wanted to get my paperbacks onto this shelf. So this is where they are going to stay for the time being. And there's plenty of room to add more if I need to. All right, so now the half Billy bookcases have been officially emptied. The paperbacks have been relocated. Now I'm going to take all of the shipping boxes out to the garage and bring the boxes containing my Harry Potter stuff in. I'm gonna go ahead and do most of that off camera, but I will be back once I've got the room a little bit more situated and it's time to start reorganizing the bookcases. So my camera died at some point while I was arranging the shelves. I don't know exactly at what point it died off, but I'm going to do my best to compile all the footage and hopefully get something cohesive for you. But I just wanted to turn you around and show you the somewhat final product. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it will do for now. I actually cleared up a lot more space on my shelves than I was expecting to by removing the paperbacks. In fact, I didn't actually need to do that in order to fit all the books on my shelves. But I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it for now just so I have room to grow. But let me turn you around and show you. Okay, so this bookcase in the middle, this used to house all of my fantasy and I reserved the first four shelves for Harry Potter. So these are all the different editions that I have and some of the memorabilia that I have and things like that. Then I went ahead and split the fantasy between the two half bookcases and like I said I ended up having a lot more room and I actually still have fantasy on these two bottom shelves here. This shelf right here is my J. Kristoff shelf and then these are all of Sarah J. Mass's. What I think I might do is take out these two bottom shelves here and make 
take those, my Sarah J Mass shelves, and then move the rest of the fantasy between the have shelves, but I'm not 100% sure. But this is basically how it is looking at this time, but I likely will still be doing a little bit more arranging. This is just what we have got for now. And then of course, here is the TBR cart that I made. Here are the four shelves with the paperbacks. These are the books right here that I need to feature in my March roundup for haul and unhaul, so you're getting a little sneak peek there. They were originally on one of the half shelves, and I guess I could go ahead and put them back on the half shelves because I have the room to do so. But this is what this corner is looking like. And then again, here are the shelves that I rearranged today. All right, everybody, I think that's going to be it for this one. This is my first time ever doing a video like this, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to come together, but I'm going to do my best, and I hope that you enjoyed. And yes, just in case you were wondering, I did change my shirt and put my hair up. It is the same exact day, but I was getting really hot, really sweaty, and I felt gross, so I went ahead and changed. Anyway, y'all, if you've made it to the end of this video, please go ahead and leave me a witch or wizard emoji in honor of the Harry Potter reorganization that I did today. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I typically post two videos a week, one on Wednesdays, one on Sundays, and I would love to connect with you in any of those future videos or on any of my other social media platforms, which I always leave linked down below with any of the books that I may talk about in the video. Until next time, y'all. Bye.